In related news, the Bahamas Technical and Vocational Institute is embracing solar energy and its benefits, today launching its training for installation and maintenance of solar photovoltaic systems. The initiative launched on the Renewable Energy Block at BTVI and is being carried out in conjunction with the Ministry of Finance, the Inter-American Development Bank and the European Union. Prime Minister the Honorable Philip Davis says the initiative is part of an effort to transform the country's expensive and outdated energy systems and move towards something more reliable and as you just heard sustainable he also extended gratitude to EU partners the government signed a nine million dollar grant agreement with in March 2022 BTVI's new and improved renewable energy program will encompass training in the installation and maintenance of solar photovoltaic generation systems and other related services measures for supporting industries within the solar renewable energy industry, as well as further support for staff and students, including a pilot for persons with disabilities and a workshop for teachers and students to expose them to careers in re renewable energy. The program is inclusive of skills, abilities, and backgrounds, with men and women who will come from ICAO, <laughs> Grand Bahama, Abaku, Cat Island, <laughs> New Providence. Minister of Energy and Transport, the Honorable Joe Beth Colby Davis, says the initiative with BTVI increases accessibility and affordability of solar systems in the country. Minister of Education, Technical and Vocational Training, the Honorable Glennis Hannah Martin, says BTVI will be at the center of the country's national development. The objective of the BTVI consultancy is to implement the training that will develop local skills for services related to solar PV generation systems. In doing so, it will foster participation of women and persons with disabilities which I think is very important to the advancement of our society. There have been so many studies that talk about the, um, the, the skills gap in the Bahamas. We've been hearing it for 10, 15 years. And what I appreciate, but what we are seeing as we speak, is the determination that we as a people are going to do what is necessary to ensure that our people do not fall behind or fall between the cracks. Hi there, I'm Corval Pfeiffer. Thank you for watching our YouTube page. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for all things Zedanas.